Good afternoon and welcome to my Friday ramblings. Today is Christmas Eve and uh, it's a busy day outside. My background today is a beautiful church called the Church of St. Peter and Paul. It's in Port Leash in County Leash in Ireland and it's the place, not the actual place, but it's the church, the name of the church where my antecedents, Richard and uh, Susan, were married back in 1849. It's a beautiful sanctuary area, as you can see with the very beautiful uh, Pentecost spirit window behind me. The reason I did this today was because it's, uh, I just wanted to say something a little bit different about uh, this Friday rambling. Obviously it's Christmas Eve and in just a few hours we'll launch into our family mass and then the Christmas Eve mass at, uh, well, with carols and mass as close to midnight as we can make it. And then we'll head into the celebration of Christmas Day. And following fairly quickly on Sunday, we'll have the Feast of the Holy Family. All of these things are great moments for us and they're great opportunities for us to share with gratitude the incredible blessings that God has given us. Even though this year and last year, 20 and 21, have been years of COVID-19 and restrictions for so many people. And even now, as the COVID numbers begin to rise, as our borders have been opened and we're looking at a new reality, reality that suggests that face masks and a whole range of other uh, restrictions might be part of our normal experience for the future. We're also reminded that we are alive and we have a world in which we can get booster shots, that we can get vaccinated, and we can be cared for. We know that there are many people who this day, this night, will not have those same kind of safety nets. They'll be relying on their own capacity and sometimes the generosity of other nations to look after them. The feast of Christmas is a feast of giving thanks to God for what he's given to us and sharing our gifts with others. My hope and prayer for each one of you is that you too will know something of the blessing that God gives us, that you will be able to appreciate fully the story of his power and presence in your life, and that if you don't know Jesus at this time, that at some stage someone will be kind to you, will speak to you about the love of God, and that it might interest you to simply go and ask a question, what is it all about? because there really is more to life than just living. Living the love of God makes an incredible difference. Have a safe and happy Christmas day. May you be blessed during this time with family and friends. May your joy be the, the, the joy that brings peace to your hearts. And my hope is that you will be kept safe both in your travels and in your health in the days to come. Take care. And may you have a very happy and holy Christmas day. God bless.